Hi, this is Michelle Petronik from the Synopia team doing a demo of features from releases 1.5 and 1.6. We'll start with the profile editor. One thing we've added here is this trash can on value data type. And the only reason for this is if you've created a template outside of Synopia in another system that uses this value data type, and then you have a value here and you want to get rid of it, we previously didn't have a trash can. And that meant you could only delete what was in the box, but that didn't really get rid of all the artifacts associated with the data type, and that caused problems when importing into Synopia. So now we have the trash can. And if you want to get rid of the, a value that you have here, be sure to use the trash can instead of just deleting what's in the field. And please remember that um, Synopia, for now, does not pay any attention to this value data type anyway, so you should be able to safely delete it. Also new in the profile editor are some new lookup choices. For Synopia lookups, you can now limit the lookup to BibFrame instances in Synopia or BibFrame works in Synopia. Or you still have the option of searching anything in Synopia and that's called Synopia resources. The other new thing here is for Discogs, we have the choice of searching the releases or the masters or everything. And finally, we now have a Wikidata search via QA, and this is how you would specify that here. So now we'll hop back to the editor. And in this demo, I'm showing the highlights, but wanted to let you know that from the help menu, you can now click on release notes if you want to see all the details of each release. So going to the editor, maybe the first thing you'll notice is that we redesigned the header so that it's not taking up as much vertical space. We try to um, collapse some things so that you have more space for your actual things that you're working with. And in the resource templates tab, we've added a new feature that will let you easily access recently used resource templates in your current session. So I just started this session, so I don't have any recently used resource templates yet. But if I were to open one in the editor, next time I come back to resource templates, I'll now see most recently used. And there's the one that I just opened. Another new feature on the topic of resource templates is that we're trying to catch some errors with resource templates right when you open the template, rather than allowing the template to be opened and then letting you encounter the error later. So this is an example of a template that has a misconfigured lookup. And so when I open it, it will tell me right away that we're doing a lookup to this value here that is not supported by Synopia. And there is a known issue here where we're reporting the same error twice and that's being worked on. A quick tip, if you do get one of these errors about value constraint lookup URIs that are not found in the configuration and you want to check what the configuration is, you can go to help, go to the Synopia help site, and from there, go to lookups QA help, and you'll see this link to list of lookup configurations used by Synopia. And that's where you could go to um, research what's going on. Now heading over to the search tab, we've added this help text that tells you the different types of things you can do when searching um, operators, how to do an exact match, um, how to use the wildcard. 
And then there's a link to a page on the Sanopia Help site that gives you a lot more information about the varieties of searching you can do and how we're handling um, various things like how things are ranked in the results. So be sure to go there for more information. And still to come is going to be the same type of thing for the non-Synopia searches. That is the um, searches that we're doing here via QA. We've also improved the error messaging that you might get when you try to open something that has an issue. So I'm going to search for everything in Synopia. Sort by the oldest ones, just because I know there might be a problem with one of these. If I try to open this one, we tell you what the problem is, which is that the research template that was used to create it is no longer there. And we also bring you to the top of the page to see the error. So previously, when you tried to open something that generated an error, you wouldn't see the message right away, so you, it would just look like nothing happened. But now we're bringing you right to the top to see the error message. Also notice that we changed the modified date to be the absolute date um, rather than the relative date, um, which people didn't like as much. So now we just give you the actual date. Now, when you're searching external data, we've added showing you some extended context that comes back from QA. So that's in this context column, and we'll show you whatever pieces of information um, came back from the QA search to give you more information about each search result. This includes extended context for discogs. Another very useful thing that we've added is the ability to search any values in a description that were obtained from a lookup. So previously when you were working on a template and you used a lookup, we would just retain the URI of the thing you looked up and then the label itself wouldn't be searchable. So to, to demonstrate this new ability to search on the labels, I'm just using this very simple template. It's just to look up to the agro voc vocabulary. So I'm going to look up something, select a value, and save it. And now we should be able to search for this text here. And here it is, the one that I just created. Now we'll go to the Editor tab. Um, looking at a test template. To show those new lookups that I showed in the profile editor where you could limit your search to just instances or just works. So we can see that here. So this is just showing me matching instances over here. It's showing me matching works. And then this one is set up to be a lookup to all, everything in Synopia. So you should get the full set here. Now, you also notice on this page, a new feature called Create New. So what this is, is if you are looking for a Synopia instance and you don't find what you want, your next logical step is probably to open an instance template 
and fill it out and then you could come back and enter the URI or search for the instance you just created. So what we're doing here is giving you a shortcut ability to open um, any template that is for an instance. So right now we're only listing the first 25, but we're working on in the next release, we'll be able to show you all the matching ones. And then here we're showing you um, all the work templates that you could open. So if you click on one of these, it'll open in a new tab and you can then do your work here. Save it and you'll get a URI for this work and you could come back to the template you were working on and look it up here or paste in the URI directly. So you might be asking how are these lists of templates generated here? They're generated based on the lookup that is configured in this template. So this field here, this is a lookup of Sanopi instances. This is configured with that lookup that I showed you in the profile editor. And if we take a closer look at that, by going again to the Synopia help site and from there lookups and the list of configurations, you'll see that for these Synopia BibFrame instances and Synopia BibFrame works lookups, there's actually a type defined here. And this is what we are using to show that list of templates under the create new menu. So we're taking this type, we're finding all the templates that have this as their resource URI, and we're displaying them here. So here we're also showing the new feature of being able to have multiple resource templates open simultaneously in the same browser window. And each time you open a new resource template, it'll just generate a new tab. You can use the X to close the tab when you need to. And we mentioned that one of the new lookups was Wikidata. Here's a test template that just shows how that works. Type in your text, search Wikidata, and you can see some extended context with it too, and select any one of these. Another, another new feature in the editor, if you're working with templates that are longer, as you scroll down, you'll lose sight of these close and save buttons. So we've added them also to the bottom. So when you're working on a long template, you can save from the bottom as well as the top. Another new feature is to do with the language for literal fields. We've upgraded this so that there's two new things. One is that we're now using the ISO 639-2 list. So that's a longer list than you used to be able to select from. So there's more languages to choose from now. And the second thing is that you can elect to not specify a language if it's not appropriate or relevant. Okay, finally, there's a couple new things in exports. So I'm going to just show one of the exported um, resources to show you what those things look like. So here's the JSON LD of one of the exported resources. The first thing is that we fixed um, the bug where there was no 
URI for the rel uh, resource itself. Now we've got the URI here of the whole resource. And the second thing is that we are showing you some provenance information about when this resource was updated and created. So you'll get, be able to see the time and date that the thing was first created and when updates happened. So that concludes the demo for Synopia versions 1.5 and 1.6. And as always, you can check the Synopia help site for the complete release notes. Thank you.